I have two very uh, interesting women here with me now who were there that day. Kathleen Johnson, Jean McRae. Now, just give us a sense of what it was like. We've heard all the stories about people up in the trees here in the pool. What was that moment like? Oh, it was just wonderful because it was like we came forward because there was so much in the past that we had experience with discrimination and uh, we, there was many My protests and, and just to be coming to be part of hearing Dr. Martin Luther King, it was a lift and it was just a beautiful day and it was white and black together and it was a united day. There is a very famous image of you, which is on your T-shirt, which became iconic of the day. You slipped into the reflecting pool, is that right? Tell us what happened. I did. Unfortunately, I did. I was embarrassed, but it happened. And um, the main thing, I was trying to take a picture, and I slipped. But it was fine. I got helped out by my friend and her husband, and we had a wonderful time after that, and we just felt so blessed. Now, Jean, you helped your friend Kathleen out of the reflecting pool. What was the day like for you? Was, was the atmosphere must have just been electric. Yes, it was. And looking at the crowd today, it's going to be another joyful day. Uh, you look around and you see what had happened in the past and the cruelty that um, that arose and the uh, young men and young women who suffered uh, brutality. Why? Because we wanted to be here, we wanted to be a part of the United States and we love our country. But there's so much more to do. And you say 50 years on, has the dream been fulfilled? Uh, no, the dream has not, but we're working on it. We're working on it. And those are, who are here today, I know they're going to take the message like we took it at that time. It, it gives you the courage to say, yes, what I was thinking was right, but not so much in that, it's, it's not, I can't say not so much of that, is that we've come, in, we've coming together again, which is necessary, we all need it. I don't care what country you come from, uh, what race you are, we all should be, we, we all should be united. And that's the most, to, to share what we have, not to destroy. Kathleen, if, if you just look behind you, it was on those steps that Martin Luther King gave that speech. How important was it to you? What does that speech mean to you? Well, it really brings tears to your eyes every time you hear it because the words are so real. Because those words, when you have felt discrimination and you've seen it, and your children, and you're bringing, at that time I had a three-year-old and a five-year-old. So this was like, oh, wow, they're going to have a chance. 